Hey guys, it's me, Helena. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about astrocartography with the cosmos. So today I want to share with you my favorite software for astrocartography. I have used multiple systems, multiple softwares to do my astrocartography work, which if you wanted to book a reading, you can check out all the links down below in the description. But I use SolarFire because it is hands down the best software that I've used. And if you were looking for a free software that does astrocartography, I would highly recommend astro.com. The only downside to astro.com is you can't see the paran lines. You can click around and show the little details button on the top right hand corner. But aside from that, if you're doing professional readings, you really need to be able to see all the parans at a glance, as well as add in geodetic lines and local space lines on top of the parans and ACG lines. If we're working with clients, it's really important that we're able to show them everything including the geodetic lines, the local space lines, and the parans. But the other thing is we also need to measure the distance between parans. Unlike local space lines where you kind of have to be on the direction or in the direction of that local space line to get its effects, with parans you have to be within a 70 mile radius. So it's really important to use a measurement tool where you can measure distance. With astro.com there is no measurement tool and there is a measurement tool on astro gold, but astro gold does not include any parans whatsoever. And that alone makes it a deal breaker for anyone who wants to do astro cartography professionally. All right, so we talked a little bit about some of the softwares that I've used in the past and why I don't recommend them as much as Solar Fire. But now let's get into the real tofu and potatoes of astro cartography and why it's so good with Solar Fire. Now, before we get started doing a deep dive tutorial on showing you how I use astro cartography in Solar Fire, I'm going to show you all the steps, my method of how I look at client reading charts uh, in my day to day work as an astro cartographer. But before we get into that, I do want to offer you a little discount code if you were interested in getting Solar Fire eventually down the road. If you wanted to get a discount and save some moolah on Solar Fire, because it is quite expensive, you can use my affiliate code woods15 at checkout to save 15% off. And not only do you benefit with that 50% off discount code, but I also benefit as well. So thank you in advance. Uh, and thank you for supporting my channel where I share lots of free information and knowledge and everything that I'm learning about in relation to travel astrology. All right. Let's get started. So here we are. And the cool thing I love about solar fire is you can see here how I have multiple charts and that's because I'm looking at relocated charts. So I'm looking at the chart given in a new location and how I would pull up a relocated chart is I would click the chart, the natal chart, the birth chart for the person, go to chart and I would scroll down to locality here. When I click locality, I'm then going to put in a new location. So let's just say... I want to look at Bali and in the chart type to generate, I'm going to click relocated. So then I'm going to click apply and that's going to add a new relocated chart to my list. can also add some other places. Let's say I want to do London, United Kingdom. So I'm going to click apply. And then when you're done with that, you can click OK. And so now you can see we've got a ton of relocated charts here. The cool thing about this, let's say you want to view a chart. Um, let's say I want to look at London. I can click that chart in the calculated charts feature. And I'm going to go to view current chart. And what's cool about this is that when you open up these different charts, you're going to see here that you can look at all of them and compare them very easily. Now let's jump into the maps feature. So I click map um, right here on the top. Um, we have a little view chart and astro mapping module. When we click on that little globe icon, it'll show us um, the map of the world. And we can zoom out by clicking previous and we can zoom out and see the whole world with all these astro cartography lines. And you might be wondering, what are these little dots right here with the little box and the, um, the, the planet? Those are zenith points. So let's say we want to look at more things besides just the astrocartography lines, right? Because there's a lot more detail to an astrocartography map than just a planetary line. First thing I want to pull up is the lines feature here at the top, and I'm going to click local space lines, planetary directions. 
So from my birthplace, that's where these local space lines form and they go out from that point. Um, and so following these lines, we can see the direction of energy um, in a certain part of the world. Then I'm also going to click all parans, 90 degrees, uh, all parans, rise set to rise set, rise set to culminate and anti culminate. And you can also add aspects if you wanted to. And so now you can see how many lines there are. This is very overwhelming, very chaotic in energy. So I don't usually pull up aspects. I do not find aspects to be nearly as important as Paran's local space and relocated charts. Um, aspects can add more detail, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. The thing that I love most about Solar Fire, though, is that you can add so many layers to the map. For instance, on astro.com using the astro click travel feature, you only see the ACG lines, but there's no measurement tool. There are no visible Paran lines that you can see at a glance in different cities and towns, but also you can't add local space on top of that. With Solar Fire, you can see all the lines together on the map. So you're getting a full comprehensive view of the world with local space, Parans, ACG lines, and geodetic lines. This is, I think, the main reason why I love solar fires. You can see everything and there is nothing missing from the map. So let's check this out. So let's go to the east coast of the USA. I'm going to zoom in here. And you can see here, um, we've got a local space line, a Uranus local space line in this direction. So that's some information right there. What is the Uranus story in the person's natal chart? What aspects are being made to that Uranus? Um, we'll have to go into the chart to see that, right? Um, we also have the parans. And the thing about parans is you really want to measure them. So we can use this little measure tool feature right here on the top next to the zoom tool. And we can click exactly where that paran is and we can measure up to 70 miles. So 70 miles is the maximum um, orb of influence of a Paran line. And so, you know, that's, we're going down into Virginia, south of Arlington is about the furthest we'll get from um, that Paran line. Um, same with astro cartography lines. These have a huge orb of influence, really great. And you could see the mileage up here in this little gray box in the top right hand corner. So if you click a line, go up to Baltimore, you can see it's 194 miles. So that's a really important feature. I also love this little move tool, the hand tool feature, because we can move to different parts of the world very easily. It's super smooth. See a local space going right through Palm Beach. There's a story with Palm Beach there with the Pluto in the chart. We've also got a Mercury line. We've got a Paran, Jupiter, Neptune going through Naples and Fort Lauderdale. But we can, you know, measure that and that can um, give us some more information on how far away we should go from a line. Um, another thing I like to use when I'm looking at astro maps and I'm trying to find a very specific place is I will click chart and I will go down to a specific area that a client gives me, like say a client is looking at Tallinn, Estonia. I, or actually let's do, um, let's do New York since we're here in the U S so I'll click that chart of New York. And what's cool is the local space lines move with it. So it'll show me exactly where it is. So if you have like a small town or a small city that's hard to find on the map, you could just include it as a relocated chart and click the chart feature, click the chart selection, the relocated chart, click OK, and the local space lines will put it exactly in that location so you can get more information. And it makes it very easy to measure uh, the distance from those lines as well. Something that's really important to know about astrophotography is that one thing can really disrupt an energy for someone. One hard Paran line, one hard local space line, even if they've got a great planetary line in that area, if they have a really difficult local space line going right through their city, or they have a Paran line that's really, really difficult, it's not going to be a great place. I think What's really common on sites like TikTok or Instagram is that a lot of people are hopping on trends and saying, just go to your Venus line. And while you may have a good Venus in your chart, if you've got a hard Paran or a local space line going through that city, I would not recommend moving there, which is why it's so important to see all the lines on the map so that you're not missing anything. You're not missing any information. And something that's really important to know is that there is an orb of influence. So you want to use that measurement tool there, that little 
icon of the tool and you want to measure a place in the world and how far it is from that astrocartography line. A lot of people think that you need to live directly on a line in order to get the effects of that story, or you have to move to a Mars line or a moon line in order to get that energy. That's not true. It's actually very intense to live on an astrocartography line, and I wouldn't recommend it unless it's a really great planet. Um, but if it's, you know, not the easiest or the most joyful planet in your chart, I would probably get some distance from it. Nice 150 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles would make it a medium strength. So you're still getting the effects of that astrocartography line without being in the full rays of intensity of that line. It's kind of like turning the dial up to 100 on a planet. So it's quite intense. Um, so you want to use that measurement tool. So we can use that measurement tool and just measure the distance between parans and astrocartography lines, which is really, really great. You can also see geodetic lines. And so you go up to the chart on the top left, scroll down to um, Zodiac, and then click geodetic mundane. So you can see these geodetic lines also pop up. And geodetic lines are another layer to the story of an astrocartography map. So you got the geodetic lines, the mundane, and then the celestial, which is the astrocartography lines. Um, one other thing that's really, really important I wanted to show you guys was let's say, so let's say you have like a moon MC line right here, right? So that's natally never going to change. That's always going to be there. But let's pull up cyclocartography. And the way we do that is so we can see it's going right through San Diego. This is where I was born. So we click chart subsidiary chart you can see the transits the secondary progressions the cyclocartography which is a combination of secondary progressions and transits solar arc um, territory progressions um, i usually use cyclocartography and transits so i'll play with both of these um, to find the best time for someone to travel or move to a part of the world um, but we can let's click cyclocartography for now and we can see the energy of what's happening in a certain area at the moment. So we can see Jupiter's on the descendant over here. Mars is on the descendant over here. Um, so Jupiter is hitting my natal moon line because in San Diego, I've got a moon line right here. Mar, uh, Jupiter is on the moon and Mars is on the moon, right? So this is where cyclocartography comes in and we can you know, learn about that. And you can learn about that in my course if that's something you wanted to learn more about. There's also a great book uh, that I recommend called The Psychology of Astrocartography by Jim Lewis. All right, so now we can also, another tool that's really important is clicking chart and animate chart feature. And you can see the date and the date right here, the time we can, you know, move the animation speed to see how much time we want to move forward, but we can move time. So we can go day by day and seeing what's shifting or changing, both with transits and cyclocartography, or we can go and speed ahead with time. But this is, this is a really cool feature and it's something I use a lot in my readings and in my own personal life. Um, you can also click transits. So you can see like on a day-to-day -day basis um, what is happening in an area. So we can move day by day and see, oh, there's the moon. Moon moves very quickly all the time, but we've got a Venus transit going over California at the moment, going right through California the last week of September. Now, this cyclocartography feature is really important because not only are we seeing transits, you can literally see the transits moving across the map of the world, which is so cool, but we also have progressions and cyclocartography, which is a term, a trademark that Jim Lewis coined, and cyclocartography is a combination of progressions and transits. And I talk a lot more in this video up here if you'd like to watch that previous video on cyclocartography, but this is a really cool tool to use. And what's great about Solar Fire is you can see those transits progressions and the combination of those moving across the map to determine where is the best place for you to go and when. I should also mention that this video is not at all sponsored by Solar Fire. I wish they would sponsor me, but no. No, they're not sponsoring me. <laughs> they're not sponsoring me. I am just such a huge mega fan and I have reached out to them many, many times asking for an affiliate code and they finally got back to me. And so I just wanted to share the love, give you a discount code. So just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> this is not sponsored, but Solar Fire, if you want to sponsor me, I'd be so happy for you to sponsor a video. That would be so, so amazing. Thank you. All right, putting that into the universe, we're moving on.
But something that you can use as well as using this is looking at the um, relocated chart and seeing the transits on that relocated chart if you wanted to know timing for a specific part of the world. That's another way you can use this in addition to the maps feature. One other thing I wanted to mention is solar return charts. And you can click the, the way you would do this is you would click the birth chart, click chart, and then click um, return return and ingress. And then you would click um, solar return. And then I could, you know, do for 2023, right, is the solar return chart. So I would click, I would enter the information for the solar return that I'm looking for. Natal position is what I use. Some people use relocated locations. I use natal. And then I'll click view current chart. Now I have a solar return chart for the year. Um, one other thing you could do with this is you could also look at the maps for this. So for instance, um, if you want to click the chart, you could then pull up a map and you will see the energy for the solar return. Another way I could pull that up is just clicking chart, scrolling down, clicking my return chart for 2023, clicking OK. And there we go. Now we have a solar return chart or solar return map uh, for the birthday if you wanted to look at a place of where to go for your birthday. One other thing is you can also go to chart and click um, displayed points. And you can also add in the planets you want, like Chiron, you know, the, the asteroid series, which is one of my favorite asteroids for looking for home. Juno is great for marriage. Asteroids. We have a lot of different asteroids um, that you can add to your map. The nodes, obviously, um, you can see a lot of past life things with the nodes, the south node specifically. North node can feel very karmic and important for this life. Um, there's a lot more to the nodes than just that, but those are some nice things I like to pull up. And so that's another way that solar fire is so great is you can add all these different planets and asteroids and not just the basics. There's a lot more that you can see. And another cool thing is you could click the um, lines as well as the parans to give you more information. So you just click this little info box up here and you can click a paran and it'll give you information on what the paran means or what it symbolizes. Um, so you can click parans. You can also click uh, local space lines as well as the astrocartography lines and they will give you a little description, a general description of what it means. So that is also very helpful. So that's how I use Solar Fire. It is my favorite software. If you are a professional astrocartographer and you're charging money for readings, you really need to be using a professional software, whether it's with you know, solar fire or a different program. Like I know there's one with matrix horizons. There's one with Kepler. Um, there's different softwares that have great astro mapping tools, but it's really important to be utilizing all of the features when you are doing uh, professional work in this field. All right. So I hope this tutorial brought you some clarity on how to use solar fire. All right, so that is solar fire. My favorite software to use for cyclocartography timing, but also just in general, everything there is to do with astrocartography, this is my go-to software. I started using this a year ago and it's just a game changer. It's been a game changer in my astrocartography business and I'm so grateful. So if you wanted to get Solar Fire, I'll include a link down in the description with my discount code WOODS15 if you wanted to get 15% off. We can be software buddies, software twins. And yeah, if you have any questions or you want any more information, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to help you and support you in your journey with astrocartography. And I'm sending you such a big hug. I'm cheering you on. I'm so excited for you with this amazing tool that we have at our disposal. Like what? How do we have this tool? It's like we're working symbiotically with the universe. It's insane. Like sometimes I'm just like, how do we have this information? It's magical. <laughs> With all that said, I hope you have a magical day, Kindred Spirit. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you could be notified when I post new astrocartography content. And check out my free guide on the five mistakes and solutions to astrocartography and reading your map down below. That free guide is over 15 pages. There's a lot of valuable content in there. And if you wanted to do a deep dive, check out my astrocartography course. We have a deep dive on astrocartography as well as Hey Hero and my readings. Everything is included. And if you wanted to book a reading with me, you know where to go. Check out the description. I'm sending you such a big hug. Have a magical day and happy travels. Bye.